All your favorite Instagram influencers, Marvel superheroes, have been drinking the Kool-Aid. Master Chief, Johnny Bravo, Goku, they're all on steroids. What's up everyone? Today we are going to be taking a look at one of PewDiePie's recent videos as he goes over a topic of the fitness industry that I think is very important and needs to be addressed. And I think he covers this issue very well. So let's take a look. I feel like if you mention this, a lot of people will go, well, obviously, duh. Like everyone in the fitness bubble knows it. But if you think about in general, how many people know about steroid usage and how common it is, I don't think, I don't, I don't know. Do people know? I don't know. I didn't used to know and I worked out. <laughs> yeah, like that was the same for me. Coming from like a small village, the gym that I first started going to, I've been working out since I was like 10 and I started going to the gym since I was like 12. So working out in such a small gym, which really had like 10 to 20 people maximum of the same people going in and out there per week. So not really well exposed to the world. I really thought steroids was a very small thing, like only a small amount of people really took them. But then once I you know, got into the fitness industry, started working in a gym in a slightly bigger city, then I started to see basically how many people really are actually doing drugs. And it's not like these people that are taking drugs or trying to all be professional athletes or competing or anything. They're just taking it for certain reasons that we'll get to in a second. But yeah, steroid, steroid and other drug use is actually a lot more common than what most people think in just your average gym. Do you think it's important for someone like me who has an audience that isn't necessarily into fitness to bring attention to this kind of thing? Because what I find is that in the industry, it seems like most people in some way are engaging with steroids. Everyone sees it. It's obvious to all these people, but a lot of people don't know about it. Yeah, that was a really good point there. And I actually think this is why this video is so important. And I want as much people to see as possible. Obviously, PewDiePie has, you know, a massive platform. He's going to get this issue out to so many people. So this is great to actually see someone talk about this. That's going to have such a reach and not just people that are in the fitness industry. There's already videos like this being made, but it's to people who probably already know. Whereas PewDiePie is going to reach people who, you know, maybe dabble with fitness, maybe do a little bit here and there. Maybe they want to get into it, but they're not hardcore into it yet. They maybe want to get in shape, but they just don't really know. And these are the type of people that are so vulnerable to these influencers, these celebrities that try and sell you a supplement, that try and sell you their method and claim it is to be some miracle or sell it off the back of, again, how they look when really that was achieved through something else, some other kind of supplement. <laughs> and if you think that, uh, you know, this kind of steroid use is the thing of the past, I got bad news for you. It's probably more prevalent than ever. You go on Instagram and you got 18 year olds looking like fucking orcs. Again, if it, if it ain't looking natural, it ain't natural. Yeah, um, that for sure is like the, probably the thing that I'm most concerned about is that young people, Younger people every day are hopping on some kind of gear and it's just not good to see because again, they're not trying to be professional athletes. They're not trying to be, they're not trying to go into it of a mindset of I'm going to be the best version of myself. I'm going to be the best I can be. And that's why they're doing it. They're doing it from a point of mainly insecurity and they just don't want to look worse than anyone else really. Or if again, they're doing it for a short term benefit opposed to something that they could actually see themselves doing long term. Like they're doing it to get more likes on an Instagram pic, for example, or to make some quick cash, um, something like that, selling a little program. Um, and yeah, and it's because of all of these other influencers that you see, it's just getting push and push. The more influencers that basically promote bodies that they got through steroids without being open and honest about it, the more people that are just going to do it because they're just creating this narrative of that it's possible. And then once people actually try and do it for themselves, they realize it's not possible, but they think everyone else is doing it natural. So they don't want to basically admit to it that they're doing it with drugs because that's going to make them look worse. 
but yeah, I, get, I, I don't have any problem with people actually doing steroids. I do if that you're very young. If you are under the age of 25, I don't think you should even be thinking about touching a drug until past that age just because it's just not worth it. You're gonna mess up your hormones. You're gonna do a lot of damage, especially when you're developing. And even as an adult, like you are doing things that are detrimental to your health to various degrees. And obviously there's very various drugs, various dosages that you can do, but they are gonna decrease your quality of life and just basically decrease your life expectancy essentially. Whether that's a very small amount or a large amount, it depends obviously on a lot of things, but it is not good for your health, okay? So especially doing it from a young age, it's just not worth doing, especially if you're doing it from, well, there's no good reason to do it if you're young basically. Wait until you're older so you actually know what you want to do with your life and then you're responsible enough basically to make your own decisions. And it's not something you can go back from either. So completely going off cycle cold turkey, never touching the thing again, could pretty much ruin your normal hormone levels. And you might be dependent on this stuff for the rest of your life. So really think about these things before you do them. And I don't even necessarily have a problem with it. It is the lack of transparency that I have an issue with, especially when these Instagram influencers are selling their epic workout routines. Bro, just use my code and you can also look like me. Like, shut the f up. But what I do find as well, luckily, is that a lot of great lifters and a lot of YouTubers are open about talking about these things. This guy, Noel, made this video, which you might have seen. It kind of went viral, I think. I am not a natural bodybuilder, and I have a major problem with other influencers that are not as transparent about it. Not only does it create false hope through naturally unattainable results, it discourages many people from changing their lives. It also risks people's health for their financial gain. These same influencers enrich their lives by promoting and selling you their diet and training plans, making it seem naturally attainable to reach their chemically enhanced physiques when it's not. Hell yeah, man. Yeah, I think he summarized it. That's pretty much my whole point of the video. <laughs> so just what want to say as well, from my point of view, I don't mind. I know lots of, I've got lots of friends that do uh, drugs, steroids, whatever, certain other PEDs. So I know lots of people that do them. Um, so there's nothing wrong with it. Again, I agree with what he just said. It's about the transparency. It's about being open and honest with people. So you're not creating this um, sort of false sense of what is actually naturally attainable. But I do have a problem with young people going on drugs. But apart from that, if you're an adult, have at it. You make your own decisions, no problem with that. Just be honest about what you're doing. Um, yeah. <laughs> but actually, I think what bothers me the most is that the people that really, really should be honest... Because the thing is, there's always going to be Instagram scumbags. The, the whole uh, concept behind selling them ideas to improve their, their bodies and... I don't know, in any way. It's existed forever, it feels like. And the trouble is that there's a lot of good people in the fitness industry that want to help, but it is also just one of the most fake industries out there. And the people that really want to help, they sometimes get pushed aside because they're telling people what they need to hear, not what people want to hear. Whereas the influencers are just trying to make money, they'll tell people what they want to hear, which is obviously much more attractive. So you'll get someone who knows what they're talking about, is really wants to help people and knows what they're doing, but they're gonna tell them things like, you need to be patient, you need to eat correctly, and you start learning about nutrition, you need to start tracking and being more aware of what you're eating, which to someone who's new, that just sounds like complete garbage. They don't want to think about that kind of stuff. Whereas an influencer who's shredded, jacked as hell, says you can get ripped in six weeks, follow this plan. You know, it's kind of an easy option for someone who doesn't know what they're doing. You're going to choose this sort of much more glamorized option and it's much quicker and easier. It's kind of a no brainer from someone who doesn't know whether, you know, doesn't really know what they're going into to go with that option. So, yeah, that's the one thing that I'd say is if someone's telling you something that sounds too good to be true, it probably is. But you have companies like Disney and Marvel producing these superheroes expanding their muscles to fit the part in a very short amount of time and i think uh to start off chris Hem hemsworth is a great example he's an absolute beefcake can you even be mad at him for using steroids like people want to see him big like can you really blame him 
Actors and entertainers put their health aside for the sake of entertainment. We want it, they provide it. You know, can you really be mad about it? But I, what I don't like about Chris, especially, is that he's selling this app. Like, to play Devil's Advocate, I'm sure, you know, there are some good works at, uh, work out in there. I haven't tried this app, I'm not going to. But the whole selling point is, you know, they want to look like Chris. And I can even see myself as a teenager, if I was young, selling this, I would totally buy into that. And it's just lame, dude. Some people still won't believe all of this, that, you know, people like celebrities, athletes, are on steroids when really it's so prevalent. Um, and again, yeah, even at the highest levels of sports, people are using steroids when they're being tested every day. And it's hard to believe, but it's been well known now. And if you've seen documentaries like Icarus, you can literally see how it's set up completely, how Russia basically funded all of the doping for their country. And it's not just there, if you think, places like the USA, Britain, um, if you think they're fully clean, they're not. They're probably more clean, but they're still doing the same things. And the same things with celebrities, like a lot of the stuff that they're doing in such short amount of times, it's just ridiculous. And of course, people who, you know, they don't know about fitness, they don't know what it actually takes. Um, of course, they might think that this can happen in a short part of time if you're just super dedicated, got the right diet, right trainers, and that kind of thing um, but unfortunately it's just not possible and yeah that's what I don't know if they're contractually obligated not to talk about the steroids and stuff but every celebrity has the same answer for how they got in shape chicken broccoli and rice and that's pretty much it that's all they say is they ate that trained every day every hour of the day and that's it but even if you do all those things it doesn't matter you're not gonna be able to make the kind of transformations that they do so it would be nice to see more influencers, more celebrities come out and basically be honest about these kind of things. And I don't want to go into, you know, is it is it good, is it bad? My whole point about this video is the lack of transparency and I really do have an issue with it. But I do think it's worth mentioning that the side effects of, of steroid usage is real, okay? It's not good for you. I don't care what anyone says. And what's the point anyway? I love this tweet summarizing it. Motherfucker, you're doing steroids, not even for a sport, just to be a swole ass waiter. <laughs> I don't know who's at right or wrong here. Are we? Am I supposed to be mad at Chris and Kamel and all these Marvel people? That after all, they are just giving people what they want, which is seeing these uh, actors transform in cinema. Are we at fault for having these expectations and lashing them out to other people? I don't know what the right answer is. I think it's great that influencers and lifters and anyone being transparent about their usage is great, it takes balls, and a lot of people just re will respect you more for it. But people aren't going to be transparent because there are this pressure from companies to keep quiet and make us money, you know? And that's why I think it's important to talk about these things, educate people maybe who aren't even part of these communities, but you still engage with it by just looking at it. It affects your subconsciousness and how you perceive yourself. And you compare yourself whether you like it or not to these people. Getting fit takes time. There's nothing wrong with that. Don't compare yourself to these people because they're probably lying to you anyway. That's it. Yeah. Honestly, nothing more needs to be said there. He summed that up perfectly. Just like to say thank you to PewDiePie for shedding light on this issue. Made a great video and it was really well said and I hope more people start to realize these certain issues even if you're not fully in the fitness industry because again, it's affecting everyone. But yeah, so I hope more and more people become aware of this. So make sure to share his video, share about this topic, speak about it yourself and just get the word out there because it is really helpful and I think it's really important for people to see. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please make sure to check out PewDiePie's full video on this as it was really good. Um, yeah, and I want to know your thoughts on this as well. What you think of steroids, um, influencers, and these different uh, kind of topics. But thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Make sure to comment down below what other videos like me to do next, and I'll be sure to do a video on it. See you in the next one.